Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming for you my favourite drugstore slash high street nude lipsticks and lip liners. This video is going to be especially for those who have a similar complexion to me. So that would be kind of Asian oriental skin tone with yellow undertones and for those that like to use MAC as a reference I'm around about an NC 25 to 30 currently when I'm tan I'm probably closer to an NC 35 to 40 that's not to say for those of you that aren't of this skin tone that these lipsticks are not going to suit you they probably will do but I just wanted to create a video for those who do have a similar colouring to me and struggle to find nude lipstick especially affordable ones I know this is probably not the right season to be filming a nude lipsticks video I know it's pretty much all about the darker vampy lip at this time of year but I feel like nude lipsticks are versatile and they can be worn at any time of year so I'm just gonna jump straight into it so the first lipstick I'm going to start off with is the Milani color statement lipstick in the shade nude cream and unfortunately this isn't one that is so readily available here in the UK if you live in the US it's really easy to get your hands on but over here in the UK there are only kind of a couple of websites that actually sell the Milani lipsticks and I'll definitely be sure to link them in the description box below but this is such a gorgeous gorgeous colour it's definitely one that I wouldn't have picked up hadn't I seen kind of swatches beforehand because it kind of looks like too much of a bright peach for me for me this lipstick is more of a bright peachy nude and the coverage is I'd say medium to kind of full opacity so it's not completely sheer but um, it is very buildable so initially when you put it on you do get a lot of colour but then if you build it up you do get kind of full opaque colour and it's more of a satin finish and the texture is really comfortable on the lips it's really kind of creamy but I wouldn't say it's kind of balmy because some lipsticks do contain a little bit more kind of oil in them so it makes them feel a little bit more kind of balmy um, this one isn't but it's still kind of creamy and moisturizing on the lips it smells a little bit like some sort of sweet um, I want to say Jolly Ranchers I don't think it's offensive at all and it's not overwhelming I love the packaging on this I mean it's quite slick it's, it's gold it's plastic but um, it doesn't look too cheap and yeah I love the shade nude cream and it's definitely made me want to try more colors from the range the next lipstick I have is the Maybelline Color Sensational lipstick in the shade 725 Tantalizing Taupe. And this is from their nude collection, I think it's called. And I think there might be around about five shades or so. I could be wrong. And Tantalizing Taupe is more of a pale mauve pinky nude. It's quite light and I'd say it's quite sheer but it's extremely buildable and this is the sort of lipstick that can easily look like concealer on me. So I absolutely like to wear this sheer and I like to team it with a lip liner. The lip liner obviously would be slightly darker so it will add a little bit more kind of depth to the lips but the nude I like to kind of concentrate in the center of my lips so, so it would just make the lips look a little bit more kind of lighter in the middle and brighter um, and kind of fuller or not that I need more filler lips but that's a nice trick to do and again if you've tried the color sensational lipsticks then you'll know that they're kind of rather creamy and moisturizing on the lips really really comfortable to wear the next lipstick I have is the Rimmel Kate Moss lasting finish lipstick and this is in the shade 40 this is in the shade 45 and I believe this is part of the nude collection. Kate Moss has I think a couple of ranges within the last finished collection and this is the newish nude collection and this I would describe as a light pink nude. It's a satin finish and for me I find that it applies quite sheer but it's very very buildable. This is the sort of shade that I couldn't pull off if I were to kind of build it up to full opacity because it is quite light and it is quite cool tone. I like to wear this quite sheer on the lips and team it with a darker lip liner just to kind of ground it down and deepen the colour slightly. I love the texture of this lipstick. It's 
very balmy you can definitely feel the oils in it so it makes it really nourishing and hydrating on the lips very comfortable to wear I believe there's around five colors in this collection and this is the second to darkest one there's a mixture of kind of different undertones within the range I definitely think this is a range worth checking out the next lipstick I have is the Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick and this is in the shade 720 Notting Hill Nude and this for me is more of a brown peachy nude so it's definitely darker than any of the nudes that I have here and I feel that this is the glossiest of the lipsticks that I have so it's definitely a lot more kind of oil in here it certainly imparts that little bit more of a sheen on the lips and for me because this is slightly darker I can just about get away with not wearing a lip liner with this it doesn't kind of blend into the rest of my face and get completely lost I'm not really fond of the scent to be honest with you it does smell slightly old-fashioned and it is quite strong I'd say but that's probably the only kind of downfall this one's pretty full coverage so you don't really need to build up um, the colour to get complete coverage. The Rimmel Moisture Renew line is quite extensive, there's loads of colours and if this isn't the right nude, there's definitely a couple more nudes if you're interested. And then finally, the last nude lipstick I have is another Kate Moss one. It's the Rimmel Lasting Finish in the shade 03. And this is more of a warm, peachy nude. It's definitely more of a satin finish, so not as much sheen as um, the Rimmel Moisture Renew one. I can just about get away with wearing no lip liner with this, but I do kind of prefer to wear one um, just to slightly define the lip line not to kind of add any kind of color or depth to the lips at all it's creamy and comfortable on the lips not oily or balmy but still very much easy to wear I definitely recommend checking out any of the Rimmel lipsticks by Kate Moss I definitely rate their formula okay moving on to lip liners um, the first one I have is a Milani one this is a brown nude with a slight hint of pink I think this is my favorite nude lip liner of the bunch it's a retractable lip liner so you don't have to worry about the fuss of having to sharpen it the formulation is just so easy to work with you literally just kind of touch it and the color just glides on so so easy to apply it's the perfect blend of brown nude and pink and I can pretty much wear this lip liner with any of the lipsticks that I've just shown the next lip liner I have is the Rimmel lasting finish 1000 Kisses lip liner and this is in the shade 050 Tiramisu. This lip liner has been in my collection for a very very long time. Not this one in particular but, but this is probably the first lip liner I ever discovered and this for me is a brown peachy nude. There's definitely a hint of brown in it to make it quite earthy so that it's not really kind of a bright peach and it's a conventional lip liner so unfortunately you do have to sharpen it. The next lip liner I have is the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liner and this is in the shade Natural and this is a dark peachy nude so it's a peach there's no brown to it and this one comes in a retractable format so you don't have to worry about sharpening it which is great and this one is a great nude lip liner if you don't kind of like that brown tone to your lip liner then the next lip liner I have is the NYX lip liner and this is in the shade Peekaboo Neutral and this is more of a pink nude so if you're not kind of into your peaches or your browns and want a bit of pink to your nude then this is a beautiful beautiful colour. I tend to veer towards more pink as opposed to kind of peachy tones so this is a really really nice colour. And then finally the last lip liner I have is the number no. 7 precision lip liner and this is in the shade nude and for me this is a bit more of a muted dark peach nude so if you don't want kind of a bright colour and you want a lip liner that is a little bit more kind of subdued and 
undetectable in a way then I think this is a great color it looks quite similar at a glance to the Rimmel 1000 kisses in the shade tiramisu tiramisu is slightly a bit more deeper and darker um, whereas this kind of muted dark peach is a bit more softer it comes in a retractable format again which is my favorite because it's just so much easier to manage than having to worry about sharpening your pencil and the formulation is really similar to the retractable lip liners I've already mentioned they seem to glide on just a bit more easily than the uh, pencil ones and that's pretty much it I hope you guys enjoyed me going through my favorite drugstore nude lipsticks and lip liners if you did find this helpful or you did enjoy the video then please give me a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed then you'd absolutely make my day if you did and I hope to see you in my next video bye